Welcome to the demo video of our net worth dashboard. Our net worth dashboard is a one tab spreadsheet. However, we have added a README tab where you'll find some instructions as well as a link to our instruction guide and our help desk. Now, before you start adding your assets and liabilities, we recommend changing your start date. You can change this to any month. It doesn't matter which month. It will show 12 consecutive months after this month. So let's say, for example, we want to start on the 1st of June. All the months will update automatically and it will now show from June 2022 up until May 2023. Now in this top overview, you will also be able to change your currency. To change your currency, all you have to do is double click on the field, delete the dollar sign and type in the currency sign or abbreviation of your own. For example, if we switch it to euros, you'll see that everywhere in the spreadsheet, it will update to euros. Now the next thing that you can add is your net worth goal. So for example, if by the end of May next year, you would like to reach 100,000 in net worth, you simply add that here. And you'll see that a little donut graph will pop up. Once you start adding your assets to your liabilities, you will see how close you'll be to reaching that goal. And that is it. That's all you have to enter in the overview section. Your net worth year to date and your left to reach goal will update automatically for you. Now you'll be able to find a net worth month by month on the top here. This will completely update automatically for you. All you have to do is now start adding your assets and start adding your liabilities. We've divided the assets and liabilities between three different categories. So for assets, we have cash and bank accounts, investments and other assets. And for liabilities, you'll have credit cards, debt and loans and other liabilities. However, you can of course change this by simply clicking on here and change it to anything that would work for you. Now to add an asset, all you do is double click on the name, delete the asset name and type in an asset name that works for you. For example, if we add in cash, we add in one named savings, we add in a checking account, we add in a shared bank account. Now to delete any unwanted asset numbers that you're not gonna use or asset categories, all you have to do is click on the top one, hold shift on your keyboard, click on the bottom one and hit the backspace button. This will delete all the spaces that have been pre-filled for you. Now the next thing to do is just add the amount every single month for every single asset and liability. So for example, let's say we have $500 in cash, we have $1,500 in savings, we have $2,500 in our checking account, and we have another $3,500 in our shared bank account. You will see a subtotal on the top here and a total on the top here as well. And as you can see, it's automatically been pre-filled here. Now, once you start adding more months, so let's say, for example, we have a thousand here, two thousand, two thousand here as well, and four thousand here, you'll see that now your net worth has nine thousand. We can see a growth of a thousand, and we'll also be able to see a growth for the specific asset on its own. As soon as you keep adding more months, this growth will, of course, change to the last month available. So now let's add some investments. So, for example, you have an investment account with your bank. You have some crypto and you have a Vanguard account as well. You just add the amounts here. So let's say you have 10,000 in the first one, 2,000 in the second one, and another thousand in your Vanguard accounts. As you can now see, you'll be able to see the subtotal and a total on the top. Let's say this grew a little bit. Next month, you've added some more. You will now also be able to see your growth, the growth for this category or this subcategory and your growth on the top, and also the assets here have been updated automatically on the top. You'll now also be able to see that at this moment, your net worth year to date is 24,000, so you still need 76,000 to reach your goal, and you'll also be able to see this in the graph. Now let's add some liabilities to see how that would look like when we add those to the graph. So let's say you have some credit cards. So we're just gonna do credit card number one, we're gonna do credit card number two, and in addition, you also have a student loan. Let's say for in June, you still owe 5,000 on this credit card and you owe another 1,500 on the second credit card. And you still have about 3,000 left in your student loan. If you pay something off next year or next month, you'll have 2,800 left. On here, let's say you've made a payment as well. You'll now have 4,750 left and 1,250 left. Again, here you'll be able to see the growth. So in for your liabilities, this will of course be a decrease if you have paid some off towards your debts or your credit cards. 
So now when you scroll to the top here, you'll be able to see your total liabilities. And these have now been added here. So now you'll be able to see your net worth by month. You'll be able to see your assets and your liabilities. And now in the graph, you'll also be able to see that now your net worth has been adjusted to 15,200 and your left to reach goal has changed. In this graph in blue, you'll be able to see your assets month by month to see how they went up or down. And you'll also be able to see your liabilities month by month. This updates automatically. And the last graph you'll find is your actual net worth. This will update automatically for you as well. If you've already purchased a spreadsheet from us before, you can add this dashboard to one of your spreadsheets. All you have to do is simply click on this little arrow, click on copy to, and then click on existing spreadsheet, and then pick your spreadsheet from the list. It will then automatically add it to that spreadsheet. It does not update automatically. It does not integrate with any of the other spreadsheets we offer. So you will have to add all of this data manually, but it is an option in case you don't want to have too many different spreadsheets for your personal finance. Now, if you would like to track next year or uh, more years to come, you don't have to buy another spreadsheet. Now, all you have to do is simply click on this little arrow, click on duplicate. And when you change it, for example, here to uh, next calendar year, you want to start on the 1st of January, you'll now be able to create a 2023 dashboard for January. You will have to empty these out, so it might be useful to keep this as an te empty template and then you just duplicate it every time for a year. And then you'll be able to add as many years as you like and keep an overview of month by month and year by year of what your net worth was. And that is it. That's everything you need to know about the net worth dashboard. If you have any other questions, do not hesitate to send us a message. I'll leave some contact information in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.